Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a quick gaming test with the Motorola G8 Plus. But as I did with my G60S gaming video, I'm gonna see how quickly each phone, so I've got the G8 Plus here on the left, the G50 in the middle, and the G60S on the right. I'm gonna open Asphalt 9 on all three of these phones, and just out of curiosity, we can see which one will open and load the game the fastest. So. Bear with me, I'll see if I can do this all at the same time. So they're not bad, so we'll see which one finishes booting up, I think. Yeah, G50 and the G60S opened the fastest. So that was expected for me as the G60S and the G50 both have newer and more powerful processors than the G8 Plus. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna load up a game of Asphalt 9 on the G8 Plus and we'll see how it performs. Okay, so before I start the game on the G8 Plus, I'm just gonna quickly go into settings, game settings, sound and display, and then I'm just gonna turn the visual quality up to high quality so we can then see how the G8 Plus copes. Okay, sorry about that. So after changing the display settings on the game, I just had to quickly reboot for the changes to take effect. So it's now on high quality, visual quality. So we'll see how the G8 Plus copes with that. Unlike the last video I did, I'm gonna turn the volume up just to make it a bit more immersive for those watching. And also the G8 Plus does come with stereo speakers, which the G60S did lack. So that's a nice addition and it should make the game a little bit more fun having the sound on. So we're just loading it up now. So 6.3 inch full HD display on the G8 Plus. So everything looks really nice, really, really detailed. And so far I've already seen one stutter. It's telling me what to do. So the initial stutter was right at the very beginning. I don't know if you guys noticed that at all, but I certainly did. But so far I haven't noticed any others, so I don't know whether that was just a one-off. So far the game seems to be handling pretty well. So I'll go on to a second game as that was over pretty quick. It didn't give you much of a much of a chance to have a look at it. So stereo speakers, obviously you've got one coming out the bottom and then you've got it coming out of this earpiece as well. Sound from the bottom speaker, unsurprisingly, is more powerful. It's definitely louder coming from the bottom than it is the other one, but you still get a a nice rich sound from these stereo speakers. So Snapdragon 665 is the processor that you find in the G8 Plus, which is quite an old processor now. I think you're looking at about two and a half years old. But so far it seems to be handling the game not too bad. I haven't seen any other stutters so far other than that initial from the beginning of the first game. Everything seems to be running pretty smooth. Sound quality is good. So yeah. So that's the G8 Plus playing Asphalt 9. A pretty graphic, intense game. So it's not too bad. It did handle it pretty well. Better than I was expecting, if I'm perfectly honest. But there we go. That's Asphalt 9 on the Motorola G8 Plus. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like what you see and subscribe to the channel for more gaming tests on various devices and other reviews and camera tests and all that sort of stuff. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.